Jane. But how did I get here? I can't remember. Well, you were put under a hypnotic spell, brought here in one of Kane's ships as a robot. Don't you remember this helmet? And this filament that steals the mind of any man who wears it? The amnesia helmet. That infernal invention of Killer Kane's. Yes, I remember now. And by means of it, Vasca forced you to lead a revolt against us, your friend. A revolt? Oh, I... I didn't know. Isn't there any way I can make amends? Yes, there is a way. These Zugs think that you're a god. Put back on this helmet again and all No, 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 please don't ask me to do that. I, I couldn't. But it's harmless. I've taken away the filament. Put it back on and order these men to bring in the other rebels. It's the only way you can help. Go bring all the Zugs. Tell them to lay down their arms and obey their old rulers. At the end of the revolt, will they really obey? We shall soon see. Take the earth man, Laska, and put him in a dungeon where he can no longer harm you or us. Now, sir, Lieutenant Deering and I must return to the Earth immediately. So I realize the need for your haste. I will see you to your spaceship. Thank you, Talon. Goodbye, sir. Starting rockets. Colonel Rogers on Saturn calling a scientist general on Earth. Air control room calling the scientist general. Air control room calling the scientist general. Yes, Buck? Is everything all right? Yes, sir. Wilma and I are taking off immediately, sir, but before we do, we wanted to check with you about the dissolve array. It's still imperfect. But we can count on it to make you invisible long enough to slip through Kay's air blockade. That's fine, Doctor. Then as soon as we near the Earth, we'll advise you. As long as Doctor here is ready for you, there is nothing to keep you here any longer. No, Talon. We'll get in touch with you on the space radio as soon as we decide the best way to rid the Earth of Killer Kane and his outlaw army. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Talon. Fire the starting rocket, Wilma. Check over the dissolve array apparatus at once and bring it here. Colonel Rogers is on his way back from Saturn, and we'll need you to bring him through the blockade. Yes, sir.
His mission to Saturn must have failed. I am preparing another expedition to force the Saturnians to sign a treaty with us. This time I shall... This is the leader. Sir, an unidentified space has been reported returning from Saturn. Notify the commander of the outer atmosphere patrol and keep me closely informed. Observers report an unidentified spaceship returning from Saturn. Perhaps Laska has been successful after all. We'll make no move until we learn more. Adjourn. Patrol 62, calling Patrol 62. Patrol 62, calling Patrol 62. This is Patrol 62. This is Commander White. Take your patrol to the 120,000 foot level. Watch for a spaceship returning from Saturn. If it is an enemy craft, bring it down. Yes, sir. 120,000 foot level. Yes, sir. Wilma, you better give me a few retarding rockets. We'll soon be in the outer atmosphere. All right. Dr. Hewer. Dr. Hewer. We're approaching the 160,000 foot level, sir. Stand by with your dissolvo ray. We're all set, Buck. Just give the word. Buck, there's a cane patrol squadron coming up fast beneath us. Dr. Hewer, give us the ray now, sir. One of Kane's patrol squadrons has spotted us. There she is. Squadron 62, spaceship sighted. Fly above it and use attack formation nine. Can't be fog at this level. That ship seems to be disappearing. He's talking perfectly, Crag. Certainly. Control tube is bust. Take a few minutes to replace it. Dr. Hewer, it's all right, sir. We're safely through them. There she is, straight ahead. All squadrons converge on our position and attack a hidden city ship. Back to you. Give us the ray again, sir. I've been trying to buck, but the main tube has burst. Mm -hmm. 